Yeah. We're halfway through the uh, University of Florida Historic Archaeology Field School. Um, this is a six-week course that undergraduates take uh, to either learn to be archaeologists or learn they don't want to be archaeologists, but they get a novel experience and they have a better appreciation of the past and their position within modern society. That just gets rid of all the sand. Now we're excavating our second cabin at this site. Um, so we started with cabin one uh, as this comparison for Kingsley Plantation. And now uh, we have realized that not everything at this site is the same. So we need a comparison for that first excavation. 993.379. We're doing really important work out here that is research in its own right. Uh, but I also think it's really important to remember that this is also a classroom. You know, these students are practicing being anthropologists and being archaeologists, um, and hopefully they get to walk away with some intangible lessons that we couldn't even plan for. We just found this morning uh, a spindle whorl. Uh, we'd found one last summer, which was an extraordinary find, and now we have two, which is even more an extraordinary find. Um, they were um, made by the Africans who lived in Cabin 3, the Bulo Plantation. Um, it, we don't know if they were made of local clays or made from clays from South Carolina. So we're going to do uh, clay sourcing using isotopes uh, to determine whether or not they're local or non-local clays. Uh, but they were used to take raw cotton and turn them into thread using a, it's a drop spindle. They'd have a stick here or a staff with a hook. They would take a cotton ball, hook it on there, and then drop this thing and spin it. And it would, the centrifugal force and the weight would make a thread out of that raw fiber. And they would take that thread and use it to sew or if they had enough thread and they had a small loom, they could actually weave with it. Uh, this form is, uh, is very common in West Africa and Central Africa, so we may not be able to associate with a specific culture, uh, although we will try. Um, also, um, in these cultures in Central West Africa, uh, as many men uh, do spinning as women. Um, these are extremely rare. Only um, uh, one other of this type has been found in the United States, around uh, Charleston, South Carolina, and now we have two from Cabin 3. So, we win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so many cool things. All right, what would you like me to it's do? Really well, I think it's important to understand not just that these people here were slaves, but how they lived and what they did and like their day-to-day -day lives and not let that be forgotten.